Hello and welcome to another episode of Ask Us Anything. Today is going to be a different episode. Today is going to be a little bit different. And today we are going to do an unboxing of actually one of the Unisys uh, 3D printers. Uh, possibly we are going to do the Slash 2 unboxing. So we are actually going to do a video uh, feed of our unboxing of the Slash 2. So you will be able to see exactly what's in the box. How do you unbox the 3D printer and what do you get inside the Unisys uh, 3D printer's uh, box? So without any further delay, we will go ahead and we will proceed to do the unboxing. So right here on the video feed, you can see this is the Unis 3D printer. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to start unboxing the 3D printer today. Hi everybody, my name is Ross and we are going to, uh, we are going to unbox the Unis Slash 2. So here we have a Unis 3D printer, uh, and how do you know if it is the Slash 2? It tells you Slash 2 right here on the side, okay? And then on top over here, we have all the details, the serial number. It will tell you the ID number of your 3D printer, and that's how you will get connected, for example, to the Wi-Fi connection. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's bring it over. Okay, so the Unis printer comes in a very nice, uh, simple to use box. Okay, it's pretty straightforward. So some of the nice things that you will be able to notice in this box straight off the, when you look at it, it actually tells you where's the back. And it actually also tells you where is the front. So that's pretty awesome, right? So you know that you're not going to open the box the wrong way. And you're not going to open it the way that it shouldn't be open. So I'm just going to grab my... Pen knife, okay, so we can go ahead and cut open our Unis printer. Oops, so let's go ahead. Okay, so once we have that cut out, the printer is going to up, open up pretty much like a door, right? So once it opens up the door, one of the interesting things about the Unis printer is actually taking it out the box. So we know that traditionally you would always it will always come out from the top. But with the Unis printer, the way they've packaged it, packaged it is it actually comes out from the side. So if you already have a nice countertop, for example, you can set it up on the countertop and then you can just pull it right out of the box. Okay, so over here, let's go and pull it out. And there we go. And now this box, we can take it out. And we can put this box aside. Okay, so we can put it back next to the other units printers that we have. Okay, so right out of here, you can see the packaging is all packed nice and sturdy and safe. We have a lid that comes on top of it. Okay, we can put this to the side as well. Okay, and then the first thing that you will see is that we have all the little things that comes with the Unis 3D printer. And I will go through exactly what all these different things actually are. Okay, so let's take this off. Let's put this here. Okay, so now we have the Unis printer. And now we have this. So let's just go through a little bit of what's in the top of the box. So the difference between the Slash Plus and now the Slash 2 is that the Slash 2 comes with a single adapter. If you purchase the Slash Plus previously, you will notice that it comes with two adapters, which you will then have to link into a single port that will connect into your Slash Plus. So a single adapter for the Slash 2, okay, which is... Uh, well, I'll be able to show you guys how we plug it in. And then of course we have got our pretty standard, the plug. Okay, so we have a three pin plug over here. So I guess depending on which country you're from, which country you're at, uh, you can get the different uh, plug heads for your country as well. Okay, so that's the plugs. Every single unit 3D printer does come with a 
half a liter of resin included in your 3D printer. So the moment you actually buy and purchase and receive the 3D printer, you can directly start using the 3D printer with the material. So for our dental market, we actually get the Z dental model. So that will allow you to start doing your model materials, start uh, 3D printing your models out. Okay. And then the next thing that we have here is the clean alcohol bottle. Uh, this is actually to help clean, uh, put IPA inside here, which is what you will use to then clean your resin tank. So this is for you to store that IPA. Okay. You get your nice little uh, uh, Phillips head screwdriver, which is used to actually uh, do the adjustments of the build platform, which is what we will go over later as well. And then we have a little bit of the resin bottles uh, piping. So this is what we need to hook up because the Unis 3D printer comes with uh, an automatic dispensing and an automatic withdrawing um, uh, system. So if you need to put resin into the, into the tank, you don't have to pour it yourself. The 3D printer will do it by itself and vice versa. So when you are finished with the printing, this 3D printer is also able to take out or withdraw that resin from the printer and store it back into your bottle. So it has a really, really good uh, storage for your resin, it extend your life, etc. Okay, it does also come with a spatula. I think this is pretty standard for all 3D printers where it comes with a spatula. This is in order to remove any of the 3D printed parts on your build platform. So this is what you will use to remove those. Okay. And then we have a, a hex key that we can use over here. And we also have a USB cable as well. So USB cable is because there's two ways to send uh, your jobs to the printer uh, uh, from your computer to the printer that is using the USB or you can also use the Wi-Fi. Um, so two ways of how you want to transfer your jobs to the 3D printer. Okay, we also have some sponge over here to replace for the radiator. Um, so as you know, there is actually a radiator built into the Unis 3D printer, and that is the reason why it comes at a very, very fast speed. Okay, so for example, this is um, one of the sponges, and this is the radiator cover. So it even has that Unis Unis, Unis uh, logo, and that, that that sponge will actually just go behind. So as it gets dirty over time, you can easily just throw that out, and you have a lot of replacements. So you don't have to worry that you might need you might need to have you may need to buy more sponges down the road. Okay, and then of course uh, there's a there's a syringe over here. This syringe is actually in order to um, control the pressure of what is inside the unit printer. But uh, this is pretty much all that's uh, included inside at the top of the 3D printer. So you get quite a lot of things uh, in this 3D printer. So just to put that to the side, okay, so this is, you can look, take a look again. These are all the things that you get with the Unis 3D printer. Okay, so. So it's also important to know that if for whatever reason, whatever reason you may need to replace or you need to find uh, any of these parts again, they are all readily available. So you can easily replace any of these. You let us know, we can help to replace any of those parts for you. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do to unbox this is we take up the middle layer. So it's just a square styrofoam. So we remove that out of the way. And there we go. We have the Unis 3D printer over here. So you can see it is packed really well. There is an outer uh, plastic, the small styrofoam here, um, and it also comes with the manuals. Okay, so nicely packed. Okay, so what are these manuals? So these manuals is actually the information of how to use your 3D printer and also a little bit of like warranty. So what we have is we have some cards over here. So this is what you're going to use, for example, to check your resin tank. So if your resin tank has anything that's fallen into, uh, you, they give you the cards. If you need to calibrate the build platform, there's cards given here, um, which I will explain again later the difference. And they give a nice sandpaper as well. So sometimes maybe if your parts are not sticking to your build platform very well, there is a sandpaper that's given here that you can use to sandpaper down the platform a bit so that you can get a better adherence to your 
build platform. Okay, next thing we have here as well is the warranty card. So all Unis 3D printers come with warranty. So if there is the need, all of your information of your 3D printer is here and all the policy and etc. and how long that warranty period lasts. Okay, we also have some of these films. Okay, and these films are actually to protect the LCD screen. So if your film starts to break apart and you need to replace it to protect the LCD screen, they are actually given you four pieces right here to do that replacement. So you can keep your Unis 3D printer in a very good condition. Okay, then the next thing we have is a getting started booklet. In this getting started booklet, it's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward. It basically tells you exactly how to get started the printing system it tells you all the things that you get in the box okay it will tell you what is all the different information of the lighting of the front of your 3d printer which uh, we'll be able to see later okay and then at the back it will give you even further instructions of exactly how to use the 3d printer so how to unpack how to set it up how to do your regular maintenance of the 3d printer and how to start the first print okay so very nicely explained um, for you to get started with a Unis 3D printer. And then the next thing we have as well is the user manual. So for those people who would like to read, there's a nice user manual. Um, all the information, further details of the 3D printer is in here. Um, you know, all the information, how to set up, how to print. So this basically is just going to go into further detail of how to start. So they even teach you about supports. You know what you have to look out for supports why should your support be a certain thickness why should your support be a certain length okay where you need to put support so this is really great so if you are a a, a person that just started uh, 3d printing um, you can definitely look at this user manual and it will help you understand 3d printing a little bit more so then you know how to get started on the Unis 3D printer. Okay, and then of course there is a material safety data sheet as well um, that comes with the, uh, the Unis 3D printer. So just a little bit extra. And then of course a detailed packing list. Okay, so you can also double check exactly all that's in your packing list. So you got four of the bottom filter, which is what I explained, was this over here. All right, and then you've got all this extra information as well. Okay, so you always want to check this to make sure that when you purchase your Unis 3D printer, double check that you've got all this. Okay, and if you have any issues, if there's anything missing, you can always contact us. You purchase the, the printer from us and we will be able to let you know. However, before we release any of the 3D printers, we also do a QC check. Okay, so we do a quality control check. So what we will do is when we receive your printer, we will test print it. We will check that all the parts are there so that we will, so that rest assured when you receive your 3D printer, it's already in the perfect condition to start 3D printing. Okay, so now we move on to the next. Let's open up this guy. So over here, there's a further information as well. And this is, they are telling you how do you do the calibration of the build platform. Okay, so I will show you later the difference between the build platform for the units slash two, and then I will show you the build platform that came with the previous model. So good upgrade for a very good reason why. So I'm just going to remove this. Okay, so not that heavy. Ko can help move that out of the way. Thanks. So the 3D printer is not that heavy. It's pretty light. Okay, so even if you're not the strongest, you don't need to worry. Um, if you have uh, 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 maybe not a strong team you can easily move those these printers around they're not that heavy okay over here on the right side is really cool because uh, what units actually has done is they've given a test print uh, this looks like a jewelry piece that's printed at 25 microns and it's amazing you can really really see the detail on these uh, on these uh, test print that units sent I'm not too sure if our camera is the best quality, okay? But um, firsthand within your eyes, what you can see, it's uh, it's amazing quality. So very, very nice. Um, so we can see, oh, actually on the back, it says it's printed at 0 0.05 microns. Um, the layer cure is five seconds and the LED power is 90. So interesting. So now we're gonna open this up. So when we want to open this guy up, we want to take this, okay, and then we just want to 
drop it to its side. Okay. And what we're going to need to do is we need to open up these uh, tape. Okay, so it's taped pretty well from uh, from the factory. Okay, so let's just open. Okay. So what you can see here, a little bit of what you can see is uh, a more detail of what is the um, the serial number of this 3D printer. So always check your serial number should always match the outside of the box that you get. Okay, and this is the radiator that I was explaining earlier. Okay, so this film is just to help to stop any of the dust coming in, to stop any of the dust. Okay, and then we have our coolant pump here as well. And this coolant pump is the... The, the, the magic of what makes the 3D printer so, so, so fast. Um, and this is what helps keep the LCD cool at a temperature where the units can print at extremely high speeds. Okay, so that's the bottom. Okay. So now once I've removed some of this to the side, okay, it's done. What I can do is then bring it back over. Take this, let's keep that. Okay, and now I can go ahead and unravel the 3D printer. Okay, so let's put that to the side. Okay, so another layer of uh, cling film over here to protect the body. Okay, remove that, and you can just put it like that for now. So here is the Unis 3D printer. Okay, so the Unis Slash 2 comes in a black body with an orange uh, cover and this orange cover is UV protected so you don't have to worry about leaving it in a bright room or out you know a little bit in the sun this tank this cover is going to be able to stop any of that UV light from penetrating and curing your resin over time so it's really really good so previously the slash plus um, it was a black cover. Uh, now with the newest model, the Slash 2, they have actually come back with the orange. The first, very first model of the Slash was actually an orange cover as well. Uh, and then they moved to the black. Uh, I guess customers had questioned them, why did they make it black? We can't see the inside. So Unis actually listened to their consumers and they brought back the orange cover. And I think it does look pretty good. Okay. Now just to show you at the back, what do we have at the back, okay? So at the, at the back over here, it's pretty straightforward. We actually have another smaller radiator over here, if you can see. That's another small radiator because there's a radiator for the LCD screen and there's a radiator for the LED as well. So two things that it helps to keep cool, to keep temperatures down, okay? So what we have here is our on and off button. I think that's pretty straightforward. Okay, we have the plug-in for the port for the power to power up the machine. We have the USB port, which is USB 3.0. So this is going to help transfer all the information to your printer to start printing. We also have an Ethernet port. So if you don't want to connect to Wi-Fi, you can always hook it up to your Ethernet cable, which will give it really fast speeds as well. If you don't have Ethernet, you don't want to use the USB, you can always use the Wi-Fi as well. And this button over here, this is just to test the fan. So that's pretty much what you have at the back over here. And again, at the back, you will be able to see that there is also the ID number, the serial number for this 3D printer as well. So when you get your 3D printer, you can double check. You can also see if it has actually been used before just by checking this uh, serial number. Okay, so let's put that back. So over here on the right side, this is where you would use the bottle. Okay, so this pipe over here sticking out, this is where you're actually going to connect up your Unis uh, material. So this is where you will hook it up to here and you will be using the pipes as well. So the pipes and the Unis bottle is what you're going to use together in order to use the pump system. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty simple to use. Okay, and then if you want, when you're not using your bottles, you can also keep the the your resin bottle inside here as well. So you can easily just boop, keep it inside there. Yeah, so very nice. You can keep it away into the side like that. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna just take this off a bit more. Okay, let's put 
that to the side. So over here you can see, now we can open up the tank, the cover. Okay, so when we open up the cover, this is what you will see. So the cover can fully open. Uh, it is pretty stiff, so it's not going to fall down on you. It can actually stay there by itself. Um, so you don't have to worry about the 3D printer's cover falling down or anything. Okay, oops, sorry, looks like we lost connection there a little bit. Okay, um, we connected. Okay, so now you can see over here, the cover is pretty much just like this, okay? And then what we have is we have the build platform and we have the tank over here as well. Okay, so what we can do is to remove the tank, we want to just slide it to the side. Okay, sliding the build platform to the slide is how we're gonna remove the build platform. Okay, so that's exactly how we remove the build platform. So with the units build platform, we can see that they have actually done a test print over here for this piece. Okay, you can actually see the marking. Okay, so all 3D printers from the factory have actually been tested before it's sent to us. But we also do, um, Bio 3D, we also do a further testing to ensure the quality of the 3D printers um, to make sure that with double check, so when it gets to you, the consumer, everything works perfectly fine. Okay, so on this build platform, there is also a bubble. Okay, it's a water level. Okay, so this is going to help to tell you whether or not the printer is um, stable, whether it's flat. Okay, because you want to make sure your 3D printer is flat so that you don't have the resins spilling over to the side, coming out over to the from the side of the tank. Okay, so nice. So I'm just going to show you the differences of the slash to the new tank and the previous tank. Okay, so this is what you can see. This is the difference between the previous tank and the new tank. Okay. So over here, this is what we have. This is the previous, this is the new. So one thing you'll notice is that the new tank, it's way, uh, the new build platform, sorry. The new build platform is way much, much thicker. And the previous build platform is much thinner. Okay, and the reason for that is because with the new build platform, these are actually fully adjustable. Okay, previously with the Unis 3D printer, you were not able to adjust the build platforms in any way. So you calibrate, you just push it down, calibrate, and that's it. You can't do anything else. Um, but Unis introduced the new build platform, the adjustable build platform um, for the new 3D printers so that if there were any misalignment of the build platform to the LCD, you are actually able to calibrate it yourself. So that helped to reduce a lot of uh, issues in terms of 3D printing, uh, helps to reduce any issues of example the platforms uh, the build piece sticking to the platform right so that's what they have introduced and i'm sure there will be a lot of questions can i use the new platform in the old 3d printer like the slash plus can i use the new platform the slash plus slash plus yes you can no problem at all can i use the slash plus platform in the new slash two yes of course you can so you can use this i can use the new platform in here I can use the old new platform in here. So even if you bought a new 3D printer and you have a lot of the old platform sitting around, you can still go ahead and utilize the previous uh, platform with your new printer. So no problem at all. Okay, so the next thing that we can see as well inside here, okay, is the tank. Okay, so this is the Unis uh, tank. Okay, so the tank has an indication of the max level. And that max level will actually also be controlled by the printer as well. And the 3D printer will actually dispense the resin inside. The 3D printer will ensure that it stays at this level. But the interesting thing about the Unis 3D printer is that you can set your own level. It's an open, completely open system. So you could have your level higher, lower, or substantially lower for when you want the resin to automatically pump and increase the height of the resin level inside. So how do we remove this tank? So it's very simple. Over here we have a hinge and all we need to do is just pull it back and that's it. And then we just lift up the tank and we lift it up. Okay, so that is how easy it is to remove the tank from 
the Unis 3D printer. So this is the tank that we have. So if you notice, you might think, oh, it's a little bit cloudy. It doesn't look, it's not optically clear. It's a little bit cloudy, but that's how it's designed and you still get amazing results 3D printing with this tank over here. Okay, and one thing great about it is that you don't have to worry too much about touching the bottom of the Unis printer because um, the type of material is not acrylic. Okay, and there's no problem. Of course, most important is that don't have resin on your finger and you touch the bottom because then that can lead to problems. But overall, if you're wearing gloves, if your hands are clean, even if you touch the bottom, you don't have to worry because fingerprints are not going to be stuck at the bottom. And uh, we have come across a lot of problems like that where we accidentally touch the bottom of the tank. And what we notice is that, oh, now there's fingerprints. And to remove those fingerprints from the tank itself, the film, is amazingly difficult. So with the Unis, no problem at all. Okay, so that's the that's the Unis tank. Okay, um, yeah, pretty much that's it. Okay, so we can put that to the side. Now over here, we can see this is your LCD screen. Okay, so this is what projects the image. This is what projects every single layer of the part that you are trying to print okay so what you see here actually so let me remove that film so this film that you see i'm pulling off this is actually the protective film this is to protect your unis screen and that is exactly what we have over here that they've given extra so these the four pieces of this film can go on top here okay you can peel off the old layer and then you can stick on the new layer so that you can ensure that your LCD screen is protected from all the usage of uh, using this 3D printer. Okay, so that's done. That's the LCD screen. Over here on the right, this is actually the pump. Okay, so the pump, let's take that off. Okay. Alright, so that is actually the pump and the resin sensor. So if I were to go ahead and put back this tank over here, okay, I'll show you how it actually gets connected. So with this tank, it's important to note these two little hinges over here. And when you put this tank in, okay, it should slot. There's actually a slot, two slots at the back that you have to make sure. If you come over here, you can see the two slots. Uh, it's a bit dark. Let me get the light on. Yeah, so here there's a slot here and there's a slot here. So these are the two slots which is what will actually allow the tank to actually go in. Okay, so these two slots as well. So when you want to insert the tank, make sure you insert it right. Okay, so just put the tank in like that. Lower it down. Okay, and then all you have to do is just push. That's it. Once you hear that snap, you know the tank is in well. But you have to also make sure the tank is placed correctly. So there are some areas, some, some situations where it may not be in fully. And how do you know that? Well, oops, <laughs> like this. So if the tank does not sit flush or you can't really have it sit onto the LCD screen or the platform area, then you know the tank is not in right and you can't really close it. You could force it, but then you're going to break the tank. So you want to make sure it's in all the way and when you rest it, this, the, 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 what do you call it, the hinge will automatically come back to it like that. Okay, and you just very easily, it should be effortless, it should be effortless when you put the, the tank back in. Okay, so now over here what we have is, this is the pipe for the tank, well, I mean the pipe for the resin, so this is what's going to put the resin in and out take in and take out which comes from here and then we also got the sensor so this is a resin sensor and how it works is we just have to snap it on over here now, boom, pop it in and there we go and that's how the resin sensor and the resin uh, pump actually fits fits into here okay so that's how we get all of this together okay so it's pretty straightforward you see how it can be connected if you want to take it out, you can just pull it out, okay? And then you can connect it 
as well if you want you can connect it to this holder here so you can pop on the cable or the pipe over here so it stays in its place but without being connected it stays okay so just want to show you as well what else is there over here we also have a camera so one great thing about the Unis 3D printer is that there is actually a camera built in. So what it actually does is when you're printing maybe through the night or you're printing overnight uh, and you want to check on your 3D printer, you want to check on your parts, you can actually connect to this uh, camera through your mobile app. Okay, and uh, what you can do is you can see how is it actually printing. You can check to see if your print is successful, is it filled, uh, or if there's any issues. So for those who are very um, curious to know how their prints are going, uh, Unis comes with a camera that you can actually see what's going on. So very interesting, uh, neat feature um, that comes with the Unis 3D printer. Okay, so... Yeah, so what we have here, this is the silica balls. So these are the stop uh, humidity, stop uh, the buildup of liquid. And then there is also a little uh, tag over here that tells you uh, the warranty of the 3D printer. So if you do buy this 3D printer, please don't open this up uh, if you're curious, um, because that may void the warranty. If there's any issues with the 3D printer, you can always contact us at Bio3D and we will always be more than happy to help and support you and to help get your printer fixed. Uh, we are the um, service representation for Southeast Asia, so we service 3D printers uh, for Southeast Asia. So if there's any problems, we have all the parts readily available, we have everything that can help to support you as a customer that's purchased this 3D printer. Okay, so what we're going to do next, let's put this build platform back in. So, so what else we have? What we have here as well, this is actually the uh, the liquid for the LED. Okay, so you always have to top up your LED uh, liquid. So what it is, is it's just a little white knob over here. Okay, and then what you will use is you will actually dispense. And I can actually show you on another printer uh, that we have here on the side. Okay, which is here. Okay, so this is your slash 2 naked. Okay, so the body has been taken off the slash two over here. Body is probably somewhere. Okay, so we've taken off the body, taken it off, and that white cap that you see here is actually this guy right here. So this is actually the radiator liquid, or what we call it is the LED cooling liquid. So what we would do is we would pop this up into here. So we will just pop this off. Okay, and then very simply we will just take off the cap. And as you can see, the level is pretty low over here. So this is a bit too low. We want to have it higher. So we'll just go ahead. Oops, spilling a little bit. Don't worry. So we'll just go ahead. Pop it up. Okay, so there we go. A little bit messy, but uh, it's fine. Okay, so that's how you get your liquid into the side over here. And this actually is what actually cools down the LED. So I'll be able to show you the LED. So this is the LCD. So this is the LCD that you say. This is the 4K LCD that comes with the slash 2 now. So very high definition. Okay, and then this over here is the cooling board. And then we got the LEDs array down here as well so you'll be able to see actually all the leds that's actually in the slash 2 so difference between the slash plus and the slash 2 for the slash 2 they have actually put much more leds in the in the 3d printer uh, and they are actually uh, sorted differently as well so this gives a much much brighter and a much more power to the leds okay and that's your LED board. So this, the green liquid that we saw actually goes into here. Okay, and it actually helps to cool down this entire LED. And then there's also another cooling that goes into this uh, board as well. So this board actually cools down the LCD as well. So that is the patent and that is the uniqueness of the Unis uh, 3D printers. And I can actually show you as well. This is actually one of that. The cooling boards, uh, this is an old cooling board that we actually replaced, okay? So it's completely clear. 
okay the liquid will go in and the liquid will come out and what it does is it every time the 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 led turns on it will get hot but when the liquid goes through it will cool down the board so very very fast the uh the 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 the, LED, the LCD board gets cooled down. So that is again why you can get the extreme fast speeds with the Unis 3D printer. So very, very nice, very amazing, very great 3D printer. And again, very simple to use and very easy to fix as well. Um, so whenever there's an issue with your Unis printer, you just contact us at Bio3D and we can definitely help to fix any of your problems with your 3D printer uh, as we have the trained technicians to do it. Okay, so back to the Unis Slash 2. Okay, so the Unis Slash 2, what we can do is we want to put back the platform. Okay, so remember this, the thicker one that you see here. Okay, this is the new built platform. So to put it back on, we just need to pop it in like this. Make sure it's in all the way. And then you just want to turn the knob all the way as so. Okay, so a 90 degree turn locks it. If you were to anti-clockwise turn it 90 degrees, you're going to unlock it. So very easy to open it, remove that build platform, put it back in and lock it. So very straightforward, very easy to use. Then we have our build platform as well. Okay, so let me just hook this up. Let me just turn it on so you guys can see what it's all about. Okay. Let's move this to the side. Okay, so to get your 3D printer started and turned on, you definitely want to hook up the power cables that we see over here. Okay, so let's just get that. So this power cable is pretty much the same as like your computer or any big uh, electronic device that you're using. You just want to plug it in over here. Pretty straightforward. Okay, put that in there. Okay, uh, do note it does not go all the way in. We've had customers ask uh, the, the, the plug is not going all the way in, um, but uh, that's how it is. Okay. Then we want to plug this in. So let me just show you a little bit of the back of this. Okay, so then we look at the back. Okay, it's important to take note that this is used to plug into the port over here. You can see the picture. It is important that this flat part, you will notice it's rounded and then it's flat at the top here. So this flat part is what's facing upwards okay try not to put it in the other directions because if it doesn't go in you are going to damage the little pins that are actually inside of this port so this port actually has some little pins that you can see yep okay so that's what can be damaged so it's important so what you want to make sure is that facing the top okay so the flat side up and all you want to do is just push it in and that's it simple so we're almost there we're already almost ready to start and when you want to remove that cable you want to remove it if you notice there's a little spring okay so you have to pull on that spring and then pull out the cable and when you put it in you just want to plug it in okay make sure you don't pull by this cable because if you do you're going to rip off this entire cable so you want to pull it by this hinge over here that you can see okay so almost there We're almost ready to start printing unboxing is almost done okay the next thing is plugging this into your wall okay okay once it's plugged in you want to switch on the power cable okay and when we turn on the 3d printer it's going to start to fire up and you will see the light is actually red in color okay so what is red red in color means that the 3d printer is starting up is booting up okay it can also be that it's in standby mode okay so when the 3d printer is starting up it's actually in that red color and it will stay red it will stay red all the way until it changes to the next color so let's just wait to see the next color
Okay, so red. Okay, printer's busy, starting up. Okay, and then now it's green. So we can see that the printer is ready to ready for command. So it's ready to start 3D printing. Okay, when you send your job to the 3D printer, it will actually turn blue. And the blue circle will load up all the way to the end so that you can start. Uh, it's ready to print. And when the 3D printer is printing, it will actually be this green over here. So the different colors that you see at this front button is telling you what status of the 3D printer is. And when you want to start 3D printing this guy, just a simple touch of the Unis logo over here. It's a touch sensitive and that will start the 3D printing of the 3D printer. So that's pretty much it for the unboxing of the Unis slash 2. Um, that's everything that you get inside. That's how you take it out of the box, that's how you set it up um, and that's how you can start uh, your journey on 3D printing. So if you have any questions, uh, please do let us know if you have any questions. Um, we will take a look and see if there's any questions asked by any of the viewers uh, today. Um, so that's pretty much the end of our unboxing with the Unis 3D printer slash 2. Okay, so that is the end. So we have a question over here and one of the questions that we have is what is the life of the, 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 the resin tank in the Unis uh, printer? So the new tank that has been released is about 10 liters of resin. Uh, 10 liters of 3D printed resin is how long it can last per tank. So roughly after 10 liters, you, that's when you want to change your resin tank. Okay, so let's see if we've got any more questions here. So another question that we have is example the cleaning of the resin parts. So the only way that you can clean the resin parts is using IPA. Okay, and it's also important to take note that you make sure you don't touch IPA on the body of the 3D printer or on the cover because the cover is made of acrylic and the acrylic's worst enemy is IPA. So you want to make sure you don't get that on the printer. However, you can get IPA inside the tank. There's no problem to put IPA inside your tank when you want to clean it. That's not a problem at all. Uh, and the build platform can be covered in IPA. That is also not a problem. But the best way to also clean your parts of the 3D printing is to ensure you use uh, IPA solution in order to get rid of the uncured resin on the surface of the 3D printer. Okay, so... If there's not, we'll take a look, see if there's any more questions. So we have a question over here. How difficult it is to calibrate? You know what? We will actually throw in a quick video just to show you how to do the calibration, just to show you how simple it is. Okay, so let's go ahead here. Let's bring back the video. One second. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how we actually do the calibration of the Unis 3D printer. So just a quick one, actually. Let's jump back and do this. Okay, so calibrating the Unis 3D printer is as easy as ABC, as what they say. All I have to do is just find a piece of paper, okay, conveniently um, given by Unis. Okay, and all we need to do is just place it like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to push the 3D printer down. Okay, and once you've pushed it down like this, 
then what we're going to do is in our software when we click on calibration the 3d printer will automatically come back up and that's exactly how you calibrate so calibration is literally one minute so put a piece of paper push a build platform all the way to the bottom to get the z calibration correct and then in your software you will just click on calibrate z axis and what you do is that the, the 3d printer will take this exact position as the z calibration and it will just come all the way back up and stop and that is exactly how you will calibrate your Unis 3D printer. So it's very, very simple of how you can calibrate this uh, 3D printer over here. Okay, so let's go back and let's see, do we have any further questions? Okay, so it looks like we have one little last question that we have over here and uh, uh, they asked, is the Unis 3D printer available to order or do we have to pre-order it? Well, one thing that's great is that here at Bio3D, we keep stock of the, all the Unis uh, slash 2 and the slash plus. So if you were to make an order today or purchase today, we can very easily have that sent out the next day. So you can expect to receive your 3D printer in two or three days time. And then of course, after we, after we send you that 3D printer, we will also provide you training uh, of exactly how to use the 3D printer from start to finish. So not only using the printer, but also using the software, how to get started, A to Z, how to finish up the pieces, uh, and how to finalize 3D printed models. So yes, we can definitely sell the slash plus, the slash two, um, but we can also sell all the other models. Like example, the IB has just been released. All right, the small little guy. And we also have the UB as well, which is the bigger 3D printer um, with a much bigger build platform. So if you're interested in any of the Unis products, we can definitely um, sell that to you. Um, as we do have stock of these 3D printers already in hand. So just uh, any more questions, please feel free to drop us an email. Feel free to send us a message on social media. And you know, please contact one of us or contact us directly and we'll be more than happy to answer any of the questions that you may have. Okay, so this is the end of our Ask Us Anything for the Unis unboxing. I hope this was a good session for you guys. I hope you guys were able to see what the, the Unis 3D printer is about, what's in the box, how to get it opened up and started. Okay, and uh, again, any further questions, please do contact us. Till next time, thank you very much. Stay safe and have a good evening. Bye-bye.